What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Thursday, it is the start of the new season and we're going to see what EA have given us today. If you want to check out my thoughts on the season pass and what we've got for this uh, this season, which is only a three week season, I did upload a video earlier on today, so go and check that one out. And uh, for now, oh, we are getting Centurion's team two. Season two, act one, triangles, uh, kicks off with a 20 level season ladder experience, includes items, player items and pack rewards. Triangles will be home to three ultimate team campaigns and XP will be made available through the select releases as well as daily, weekly and objectives. Yada, yada, yada. Fair enough. Fair enough. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And so with that, let's have a look what we uh, may or may not have for today. What do I want to start with? I want to start with objectives. Want to start with objectives? Evo Lounge, Theme Team Pursuit, the yeah, Edwin So just the same stuff that was there already. Seasonal, nothing new there either. Milestones. Um, Century of Goals. Oh, yeah. Centurions is here. Score 100 times to complete this set of objectives as you march towards a century of goals. All rewards are untradeable. Score 20. 40, 60, 80, and 100 in any Ultimate Team game mode. For an 84+, plus, an 83x2, an 82x2, a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, a Premium Gold Pack, and as a group reward, an 83x3. Brilliant. Love stuff like that. Big fan of that, EA. Well done. Well done. Let's check Evolutions. Come on. This is not a re-up on Foot Founder. Is it or is it not? Did I do foot founder on this one? I don't think I did. I don't think it's a re-up of that. So there are no, there are no, uh, no, no new, uh, no new centurions, no new, no new evolutions. I beg your pardon. I'm guessing the content's pretty poor as well because my stream had a little bit of a meltdown, had to restart, and uh, nobody in my chat said anything good was here. So I'm, I have a feeling. Yeah, it's just the the standard pack content, and then if we look at SBC, so objectives, centurion of goals is good. Have we got a new player today? Withston, Liao, Lecker, Watkins, Jurassic, Aspas, Ulka. Is that new dynamic duos? Yes, it is. Onisiwo and Wene. Same club, same nation. We can't look at those on here. We'd have to look at those in uh, on Footbin. And they're going to cost... Um... An 84 rate, an 83 rate squad with two 84s, twice. One Bundesliga player, one Austrian player. That's pretty legit. That's not bad. Um, we'll have a look at what they look like in game. Nothing else there. Upgrades. Nothing new in upgrades. Challenges. We have got the new. Oh no, wait. This one expires in 50 minutes. We don't. Oh, we do have the new marquee matchups. There you go. A rare election players pack. For the, oh, dear, it's bad, isn't it? Nons vs. Stadwen. Um. For a small election players pack. Fiorentina versus Juventus. For a small goal players pack. Borussia Dortmund versus Bayern. For a premium mixed players pack. And Spurs versus Chelsea. For a prime mixed players. It's just awful. It's genuinely awful. Right? It's genuinely awful. Yeah, it's new. The, the dynamic duos are new, but... Um, no new icon. So I actually think that's it. Team of the Week Refresh? What is, what's Team of the Week Refresh? Let's go into foot.gg for these two new players. So we've got... Uh, SBC. Dynamic Duos. Onisiwo. Chip Shot, Power Shot, Power Header and Bruiser. Three star, four star, high, high work rates. I mean, that's a good card. Three star, four star is quite nice. Chip shot, power shot, power header, and bruiser is quite nice as well. Good for the uh, good for the physicals. Um, and then a hunter chem style on him. Great pace, great shooting. That's a really quality card. That's a, I, I think that's quite a quality card to be fair for me personally. Um, 
And then we've got, other than him, we've also got Mwene right back. So it's a striker that can play centre forward, a right back that can also play left back. Three star, four star, high medium. Anticipate and relentless. That's a good card again, guys. He's got terrible heading accuracy, mind you. But four star weak foot on a fullback with anticipate and relentless is good. With a shadow chem style, great pace, great defending. Short passing and crossing is very good. Dribbling's generally good. Physicals is good. For, for, the, for the cost of these and for the sake of the fact that they're just a couple of uh, dynamic duos, I actually think both of them are decent, fun cards. I think they are decent, fun cards. Um, other than that, we've got marquee matchups. Is, is foot been working yet? No. Other than that, we've got marquee matchups. Which is pretty poor. And that's it. That is it. There's no new players. Um, it's... I, I want to see this... Uh, I want to see this um, Team of the Week refresh message that a lot of people are saying came through that I don't see it. Look at Team of the Week ref refresh from last year. It's a new Team of the Week upgrade system. It didn't have any info worth talking about. It was in a new season pop-up. Oh, it was in the new season pop-up. Hold on. Maybe I can go back and get that. Oh, yeah. I see. So it says Season 2 Act 1 Triangles will be home to three Ultimate Team campaigns and XP will be made available through select campaign releases as well as daily and weekly objectives. The first Team of the Week refresh of FC24 will also feature during the season. What was, what was Team of the Week refresh? I don't even remember what it was. So looking back, guys, on what Team of the Week refresh was last year, um, it was EA giving boosts, like big boosts, to uh, informs, which we've already kind of had this year because they've made every inform a minimum of 80 rated. However, the other thing that they did last year was give skill move and week for upgrades and then individual massive stat upgrades for cards that either needed it or that did something exemplary. Like if somebody scored a long shot, they'd just get a massive boost in like long shots and stuff. I actually think this year already, although we can't look at footbin still, uh, I actually think this year already, we've already seen what Team of the Week refresh could be with um, Eddie and Ketia. And the reason why I say him specifically is because his upgrade compared to his gold card was quite strange. Um, it, they first of all they gave him the one the weak foot upgrade, which was unusual, especially because he didn't actually score a goal with his weak foot. They also gave him two play styles, which they haven't done with, the, from my own knowledge, every other team of the week. But on this one, maybe so. That's a good dynamic, isn't it? But they also gave him. Um, you'll see here in heading, where is it? Yeah, they gave him twenty-seven heading accuracy. Even though he didn't score with his head, they gave him a monster boost in heading accuracy. Um, and so I think that I'm, I'm hoping it's a little bit better than that, whatever they do with this Team of the Week refresh. But I think what they're ultimately doing is going to be giving cards big, big boosts in areas that they need the boosts in and areas that they use to get what they've got. And then skill moves and weak foot upgrades and play style upgrades as well to bring the team of the weeks to actually being relevant. Now, it is a bit of a surprise that they've done it this early in the game cycle. Um, but I don't mind it because I think team of the weeks should be useful. They should be like, people should be excited for team of the weeks and promo, you know, this, this is a promo each week rather than it just being like a constant through the game. But anyway, that is going to be it for today. Let me know what you think the team of the week refresh is going to be. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.